Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Beyond the Reels, where today we'll be going through an intergalactic fruity adventure. I have the privilege to welcome Tom Hong Gaming's game producer, Michaelo Pushnia, who's joined me in looking at the company's latest slot, Fruitopia. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm good, thank you, James. Hi, everyone. So let's let's start with the discussion <laughs> of the Fruitopia. Yeah, let's do it. So before we actually just dive into like the meat of the slot itself, can you just give um, give the viewers a brief overview of Fruitopia? Uh, sure. Fruitopia is our <clears throat> latest release. This is the game in which we try to combine the like classical slot, fruit team slot mechanics, uh, like a simple features like free spins or some multipliers with an interesting graphical twist and also the high volatile math version. Uh, we, we believe that this type of the fruit team games with high volatility still resonate with the players. And this is like the most uh, performing games uh, which are on the market. And we also try to come up with something interesting, some interesting twist in terms of the graphics and the features uh, for our fruit team games. Because we think uh, the game should, uh, fruit team game, even if it's like the classical one, it should have like interesting graphics which can attract the players. Uh, if we talk about the features in the Fruitopia, uh, they are quite simple. There is the Fruitopia levels. This is basically different reels layout for different levels. There are five levels together and each of them has different reel size. So the uh, count of the symbols on the reels. Also the ways to win is different and with each new level there is like more uh, like higher and higher wins. Mm -hmm. When you will complete the last level uh, you will be awarded with the free spins and there are also the energy core symbols which help uh, which help players to go to the higher and higher levels mm -hmm. and you mentioned there about fruit slots because we're just going to focus on the theme now um mm -hmm. fruit slots to me they've been around since the dawn of slots you know and they've always stood the test yeah. of time like considering there's so many in the marketplace there's so many different variations of them and they're still popular mm -hmm. not within just certain jurisdictions but kind of on a global appeal on a global scale mm -hmm. so can i just ask why you decided to kind of incorporate the sci-fi genre within the fruit slot and also, was this kind of the original idea for Fruitopia, or did it change throughout the process? Mm -hmm. uh, our initial idea for the Fruitopia is to come up with the game uh, in abstract style, but as you know, like the sci-fi, futuristic, and abstract style, they are like close to each other. So if if we if we connect them, they look nicely. And like even on the first version, of the sketches, you can see that. We have these platforms which hold uh, the symbols and this was like the initial idea when we came up with the, with the game features. We decided that the levels ascending and descending will look uh, really exciting uh, with these platforms done in futuristic style and that's why we decided to keep it. Mm -hmm. And visually, well, as you can see, the, the game is really bright and colorful you know, against this kind mm -hmm. of cosmic void of space. How important was it to make the grid appealing on the eyes for the player, just for like engagement and retention? And mm -hmm. kind of similar to the above question, but on the design of the symbols. Was that the original idea going into the game? Or was there something, was it, was it more of a nitty gritty appeal? Was it always bright and vibrant? Or was it a bit more mm -hmm. darker? Yeah, this is like one more uh, reason why we picked the sci-fi and the space for this game that uh, we use the background of the space there and you can see like the stars but they don't do uh, a lot of light and the symbols can uh, outstand from the background really nicely and this was like the initial idea and we even make the background more and more darken so the sam uh, like to make the symbols and platforms to attract like all of the attention from the players. Mm -hmm. And we'll start looking just at the base game spins. Um, can you just walk us through what players can expect to experience within a standard base spin in a title? Mm -hmm. uh, so as I previously mentioned, there are five different Fruitopia levels. So during the gameplay, player will be moving be between them, moving up and down. Uh, also, there are uh, the free spins which comes after completing the fifth level. And there is also the energy core symbols, mm -hmm. which help you to progress through the, through the different levels. Mm -hmm. 
with uh, with each level we try to keep their aggradation so on the, uh, the win on the fifth level is much higher than on the first one mm -hmm. so, so talking about the levels there um, mm -hmm. Because when I was looking at it, I was a bit like, oh, oh there's five levels here. Um, how, how, do, how do we ascend or descend through them? Can you just walk us through the levels included and kind of how the player advances through mm -hmm. these levels? Yeah, so uh, we have uh, pro two progress bars, the green one and the red one. They are on the left and right of the, um, of the spin button. The red, uh, the green one shows players' progress of moving to the next level, and the red one shows players' progress to moving to the previous one. So, uh, in other words, by getting wins, player um, moves to the upper levels, and by losing, he goes back to the previous ones. Also, the number of uh, required spins per each level is different. So, for example, if you're playing on the first level, and you want to go to the second one, you need to win only one time. Mm -hmm. But if you're playing on the second level to go to the third one, you need to win at least two times. And the same goes uh, with the non-wins. We also have lives. These red arrows, they indicate the lives which you have per specific level. And after receiving a non-winning combination, you will lose one life. Mm -hmm. So that's how it works. And the lives also they also increasing with each level so they starts with the with the second level because obviously you cannot lose uh, go to the previous level than, than the first one mm -hmm. and this um, lives are changing with each level so on the second one you can lose three times before you go back to the first one on the third one you can lose four times and so on so it's increasing like with the wins just by one mm -hmm. and another thing that you touched upon earlier was the energy core mechanic um, Again, can you just give us a bit of information on how this energy mm -hmm. core mechanic works and how the player will experience it within the slot? Sure. Uh, let me start with the, um, like, with the idea how we came up with this feature. Yeah, definitely. definitely. So once we had uh, the game features, the Fruitopia levels in free, spin, uh, free spins, we thought that we need something extra, something additional. But we didn't want it to bring something like totally opposite feature from the ones we already had. So we didn't want it to have any like sync reels or stick devices or something like that. We wanted rather to enhance the already existing ones, so the fruit of air levels. And these energy core symbols, they the main goal is to make the gameplay more more random and more um, like more interesting because previously without them you have just like two um, two possible scenarios which can happen you win or you will lose and this makes the like moving through the levels not so interesting and also the gameplay so we decided to add uh, energy core symbols so there is a red one and the green one also i wanted to say at the start that the red one doesn't bring anything bad because we got this feedback from one of the players uh, both of them help you to progress through the higher levels um, so in case you didn't win and you receive a red red energy core symbol, it prevents losing of one life. So you're on the same stage uh, where you were before the pressing of the spin button. Mm, like the only difference, you lost your bet. And the green one, uh, it does the same thing. It also appears during non-winning combinations, but it additionally grants you one, um, like one win, one green arrow, and. <clears throat> um, like by themselves this is not like super interesting feature but on the fourth or on the even on the fifth level during like the math tests I was I had this scenario for a few times when you have uh, one life and zero ac active green arrows for example and because of this energy course in like 10 spins you can go to the free spins even with only one life mm -hmm. so that's that's why we added them cool and another feature that again you've already touched upon a bit is the free spins mode. Um, the free spins mode, I think, I think is kind of the custom of what should be at least included in a slot title. Mm -hmm. But how kind of difficult is it for a game producer like yourself to create a free spins feature, which again, it's in, quite, it's in pretty much every title. How do you vary it to make it engaging? And how have you done that within Fruitopia? Uh, within the Fruitopia, as, as I said, we didn't want it to make like um, two complex features because we consider this game as more of a classical mm -hmm. one uh, with just like modern graphics 
and we decided to keep regular free spins, uh, like regular 10 free spins, which will be played on the last level. Mm -hmm. The fifth one, so you will have three reels with five symbols on each of them and 125 active ways to win. Uh, but we couldn't just like oh, keep the free spins there and add nothing. So that's why we decided to increase the hit rate. It's, it's like much higher than in the base game. And also the wins in the, in the free spins, they are also much higher than in the base game, even if we compare it to the fifth level. Uh, also we have their like a gradation, the difference in the graphics, uh, like a red background, which personally I found amazing and I want to come back to the free speeds. Also the sounds, the sounds which has the gradation uh, during the, between the different levels and like a different sound for the free spins. Mm -hmm. And sound again is kind of important um, just for the player's overall experience and every supplier kind of has to have the player at the forefront of the mind certainly when developing the titles what has tom horn done again you've you mentioned about the sound what has tom horn done to enhance the player's experience with in fruitopia to keep them at the forefront of the mind mm -hmm. our main goal was to make uh, the classical game really classical game which will be attractive uh, because of a twist inside um, its features in terms of the features and the graphics so this was was our main uh, as you can see in the game there there are used uh, classical symbols such as uh, fruits bells sevens uh, but we applied additional uh, work to them and made them look like something unusual uh, like something in a sci-fi team also we have um, like most of the games have free spins as a scatter win. You get like three scatters or three triggers and you trigger the free spins. Mm -hmm. In this game we decided to keep it like the player can see immediately his progress of moving to the to the free spins because he, he can understand that I'm on the second level, I need to go to the fifth one to get the free spins and when he's playing on the fifth one, he can also see the his progress of getting them. So this is like additional, uh, additional exci excitement which we bring to the players. Mm -hmm. And we'll just take it right back to kind of the start of the interview where we talked about the fruit themes. As I mentioned, it's like fruits, fruit theme slots have stood the test of time. They really have. And they're, they're really fun to play. Like, honestly, I enjoy playing fruit slots. I think they're one of my favorite mm -hmm. themes. Why do you think that players still embrace the fruit theme slots more than, say, newer themes or newer slots that come out with kind of more engaging gamification mechanics. Why do you think fruit slots still hold that kind of place in, in players' hearts? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that like the fruit slots, this is the first thing which comes to everyone's minds uh, when we talk about the slots in general. Mm -hmm. So you just say the slots and personal uh, imagine the, some fruits. Uh, also, if we talk to the uh, people who who's not really familiar with the slots, they also think of some fruit game or maybe book game, but mostly I would say the fruit game. Mm -hmm. And we can see that a lot of games are li like in the lobbies are changing with some different characters, different themes, but there is like always the fruit games, the same fruit games, which are there like forever. And I believe this is like... Um, this is just how it is with the, with the slots. Everyone likes the fruit games, and what can be done differently to them? I believe that this is the interesting graphical twists, and also in the uh, in terms of the features, mm -hmm. which we can. Mm -hmm. And the final question for me is is kind of looking kind of to the year ahead. So first off, what are Tom Holland's expectations for fruit Fruitopia, and beyond Fruitopia's release, what are Tom Horn, how, well, how can Tom Horn kind of improve and move forward with their future releases? Like, what, what, has, fruit, what has Tom Horn got planned for 2022 ahead? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, about the release, the game was released in December, in the end of the December, so we already received some of the numbers and they look uh, quite nice. We, like, as we expected, this game performed nicely and we think that this game will perform nicely through all of its life because this is like a fruits game as we said uh, all of the fruits games are popular and also this one uh, because if we talk about uh, different games with some characters or some other teams I believe that they are um, 
they start to, to feel old like earlier, but with the Fruits games, they are all, always relevant. Mm-hmm. About the upcoming releases, mm, I'm not sure if I can tell you, <laughs> but <laughs> but yes, we wanted to implement new features, new new themes for the slots, something something which will attract the players' attention, and all you can is just wait for our releases <laughs> and for the news. <laughs> Same way, you know what I had to ask, but. Um... Well done on the answer for avoiding that one. Um, <laughs> no, perfect. That's that's everything from me. Um, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to speak to us today. Um, I am excited. Thank to you see for what, inviting. No, it's fine. I'm excited to see what Tom Horn's got in store for 2022. And again, Fruitopia. I've mentioned before. I love fruit slots, and I think this one has some longevity to really do well. So, congratulations on the launch. 